That's not me passing gas. I'm just checking my blood pressure. One twenty five over seventy five. That's not a bad blood pressure nation. Today we're going to talk about blood pressure. It's the B in the ABCs of diabetes care. I can't tell you how important it is to control our blood pressure. And blood pressure, when it gets elevated, doesn't typically cause any symptoms and over the years can cause damage. Now, it can cause damage to the heart and it can also cause damage to the kidneys. And believe it or not, it can accelerate diabetic eye disease. It's extremely important function we need to keep at goal. Now, just to let you know, you know, our hearts don't really look like that. It looks more like this. It's very complicated. We got blood vessels going in, we got blood vessels going out, we got ventricles, atrium. It's a very sophisticated organ. Now, the American Diabetes Association not long ago changed the guidelines. They changed them from 130 over 80, and that's systolic over diastolic, and it's millimeters of mercury. That's a pressure uh, at, to 140 over 80. They kind of loosened it up a little bit. And I'll tell you what, maybe I'm old school, uh, but I want to keep my blood pressure down. I like the original goals. They loosened it up because of a study in type 2 diabetes, but for sure, less than 140 over 80. And I recommend that you get your own blood pressure cuff at home. It, it goes up and down. It's don't just get it when you go to the doctor's office. Don't just get it when you go into the pharmacy. You should have your own blood pressure cuff. You can get a wrist device. You saw me use mine. You can get a traditional arm one on the upper right there. You can even get a blood pressure cuff that hooks up to your iPad. And then you can get your own fancy dancy unit up on there in upper left. So the bottom line is we've got to keep an eye on our blood pressure. And if you have a home glucose monitor, you also need a blood pressure device. That's it, nation. So long.